then to move on of course we have to play this absolute sad clip like a really really sad clip i'm sure most of you guys have seen it but it was concerning rolling loud in miami that happened the other day right and i guess most of you are aware rolling Loud miami Kanye West was meant to headline for a long time and then out the blue he decided to pull out we have no idea why um most people are speculating that it most likely has to do with the stage design and the whatever else that he does you know when Kanye does live shows he doesn't really skimp he doesn't exactly come out there with just a DJ there's a whole production that goes into it so most likely you know Rolling Dad couldn't really fulfill it or he just changed his mind on a whim but regardless he cancelled and then cut you know, um, Rory Loud was struggling to find someone to headline at that time because I guess everyone's touring and doing their own thing. They managed to find Cuddy. And even though Cuddy's not the level at which Kanye West is at, you'd imagine, because they exist in the same sort of sphere, that it would make some sort of sense for the kids who are going to Rolling Loud. And the fact that it was announced, was it like a week or like a month ago, a month, a week or a month before the actual event? So it gave enough people time to kind of digest that Kid Cudi was going to perform and not Kanye. It wasn't like the whole Drake and Frank Ocean thing at Camp Fragna that year, right? Where, you know, Frank Ocean was meant to headline one of the, you know, at Camp Fragna and then out of the blue, as per usual, he cancelled. And then Drake went and performed last minute and he got booed and shit, which was crazy to see, right? These kids at Camp Fragna are basically booing one of the biggest artists in the world. But clearly they expected to see Frank Ocean last minute no last frank ocean and the last minute drake comes up i can understand why you're pissed off but this stuff happened to kid cuddy is fucking so out of order and really embarrassing and also weirdly humbling in the same way that it was probably humbling for card for drake to receive all those booze when he went to flipping camp for like now so this is courtesy of rolling Lab miami and this is uh kid cuddy performing there and essentially as he's performing people are throwing stuff at him right projectiles bottles whatever it may be and somebody hits him square in the fucking face as he's performing and he just basically storms off <clears throat> the harmonizing in the background as he's saying this is fucking nuts it reminds me of um the travis scott astro world tragedy when travis scott is like flipping croning and doing his whole straight up and his whole sight you know that thing that he does when he's flipping making noises on stage and little does he know in the crowd like hun you know hundreds but like hundreds of kids are being trampled upon and obviously a few kids end up unfortunately passing away so imagine your last dying moments and breaths all you're hearing is flipping travis scott groaning in the background and kid cuddy in this respect as he's flipping harmonizing with the back with the with the with the band in the background kids are preparing to throw another projectile at him to get him off the stage <laughs> the walk up is fucking hilarious too you can tell it's so small and short but yeah bless bless him man what an absolute horrendous um show to be at especially if you're a performer for that thing to happen to you in it to be to replace and the thing that makes it worse is that obviously kid Cudi and kanye are going through their bit of a bad spell at the moment where they're not on talking terms i don't even know actually what the reason was what was it bef what was it because of i think it was because kid Cudi's friends with pete davidson right and i guess kanye felt like it was um it wasn't loyal of him to be friends with Pete Davidson considering Pete was going out at Kim. Um, I think something to do with that. But ever, ever since then, they've been on bad terms and it must be super grating to go and replace Kanye at a festival that he drops out on for the fans to then throw stuff at you in effect, basically saying they don't want you on the stage, they want Kanye. And then for Kanye to come on later because allegedly was, he, he just appeared there and decided to perform last minute on flipping Dirk set. And he performed one of the songs that him and Cuddy do together, Father Shash My Hands, which is fucking horrendous to do, man. That like real, real big troll energy. And I guess somebody here actually has a picture because I guess that's what I was wondering when I saw the thing. I was thinking, bloody hell, whoever threw that bottle 
must have good aim and have a really good arm. And somebody actually has an image, of course, because these flipping millennials and Gen Z kids are absolutely redacted. They decided to film themselves throwing the bottle at Kid Cudi as he's on stage. And honestly, the accuracy is frightening because he's way, way, don't get me wrong, he's at the front, but there's still a far way to go for him to get that bottle all the way to the stage. So he must have had to figure out a way to kind of keep a certain amount of liquid in a bowl so they had enough weight in it so it could fly but also it wasn't heavy enough so it could drop before it hit Cuddy. Really, really good aim. So this is the video of the kid throwing the bottle at Kid Cuddy. <laughs> That's a really good throw. <laughs> but to be fair, it's kind of Kid Cuddy's own fault. You don't go and st he kind of goaded them and baited them into doing that, right? Like, I, you know, if someone throws one more thing on the stage, I'm walking off one more thing. And of course, if you're a kid, you know, the first thing you want, it's like when teachers tell you not to laugh in class, the first thing you do is laugh, right? Don't make another joke. Don't clap you. Remember back in school when you, people used to cough in assembly? <laughs> and people start coughing all over the place. And teachers had to like pause, you know, and stop everybody. Say, so one person, one more person coughs, you get in detention. And everyone kind of shuts up, but then everyone kind of does it all together, like cough, cough, cough. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking ridiculous, really, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, shout out to Cuddy. You know, thoughts and feelings go out to him, man. That must be fucking brutal to take a view of it up close as he's kind of storms off the stage. Um, and then, of course, someone tweeted what I basically explained about. So you're telling me that Kanye pulled out of Rolling Loud four days before, got replaced by Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi got booed off stage and then Kanye showed up anyway as a Dirk set and immediately performed one of the biggest songs he has with Cudi's chorus, with Cudi's chorus, Jesus Christ. And of course, this is the video of Kanye coming out for Dirk set. And it looks like a really good performance. I love Kanye's flipping outfit or stage costume thing that he does if i feel like whenever cardi appears on stage nowadays with a rare exception he's always donning some sort of outfit some sort of costume in the likes of kind of his oh his other previous tour so i'm sure it's always a character he has in mind it's always a kind of um yeah it's a character some sort of thing that he's sort of kind of trying to imbue when he's on stage like he's turning it into a performance art piece so it's a real shame that he pulled out of Rolling Loud Miami because I would have liked to have seen what that stage would have looked like because if this was what he was going for he was essentially all painted in black and stuff with these great Yeezy I think gap glasses and this cool little outfit that he had on it would have been cool to have seen it done honestly I really would have cool to have seen it done the whole thing but it was pretty cool here Let me, let me mute it just in case I get taken off the YouTube. Actually, fuck it. Who cares? What an incredible performance looking wise, isn't it? But yeah, um, Kanye and Drake look, Kanye and Dirk look really cool on stage. Dirk had his Mike and Mary outfit on head to toe, which looked pretty awful, I thought, in my opinion. Kanye performing looked fucking sick in that all black kind of ghostly outfit that he had on. It was really, really nice to see. But damn, man, Kid Cudi, man. Damn, damn, damn. Imagine being Kid Cudi at the back of all this. And, you know, the Royal Lad flipping um, explanation for it was a little bit Luke as well. It feels like they didn't really prioritize him or really give him any kind of explanation of what happened. And I'm sure he's probably going to be like, you know what, I'm never going back there again, which you completely, completely understand why he wouldn't want to go back there, to be completely blunt. Um, but yeah, big up Cuddy. <laughs> uh, sucks that it happened to you, especially considering all his mental health issues that he's had in the past and maybe continually ongoing. But the game is the game, in it? The game is the game. Um, yeah, this is what Kanye wore, actually. This is it. Um, I guess you can see he's painted, he's kind of covered in some sort of black paint or ash. He has this shrunken hoodie on, these lenses that go over his hoodie as it's up there, big boots and some pants on, you know, looking very, um, looking very apocalyptic in some way, shape or form. So I would have loved to have seen what the stage design would have been to tie into this whole affair that he had going on there. So yeah, big up Kanye, big up what happened over there. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully, um, Hopefully this isn't this isn't a, a thing that continues where kids decide where they they're gonna watch a show if they don't like what you're doing they just decide to kind of start chucking things at you on the stage you don't want that to see that happen but you know unfortunately it might be the case unfortunately it might be the case.